So today's video is entitled Distance versus Displacement, and that means, yes, that's right, in this video we're going to go over what is the difference between distance and displacement. And you may think, and sometimes they may seem like they're the same thing, but really they're very different from each other. And I'm going to describe the difference between distance and displacement, and then I'm going to go over some excellent examples that will show you exactly what is the difference between distance and displacement, and you'll understand it all by the end of the video. For example, we have this diagram here where we would say we would start at position A and go to position B and go to position D and then go to C and D and then go back to A. And what would your distance be in that case? And what would your displacement be in that case? Now before we get started and before we answer that question, don't forget to subscribe to my channel Step by Step Science. Get all my excellent physics, chemistry, and math videos. You can subscribe, click the notifications bell, you can give me a thumbs up, you can comment, and you can share. I've also made some videos for what is the difference between speed and velocity and what is acceleration. That will make everything complete, distance, displacement, speed, velocity, acceleration. You can link to those videos in the upper right-hand corner of this video, but this video, of course, is what is the difference between distance and displacement. Okay, distance. Distance just tells you how much ground an object is covered. It's really just how far you have gone. Okay, that's really all there is to it, and it's a scalar which means it's only described by its magnitude, the number really, and of course the units. So for example, you could say that an object has gone, or that you've gone three meters, or maybe you've gone 100 kilometers, or maybe an object has moved 0.5 centimeters. It's just how far the object has gone. The total distance that something has covered. Okay, now, displacement is very different. You need to understand the difference because displacement is described as the change in position of an object, delta p. This triangle is the Greek letter delta, means the change in, and p is position. Okay, so it's the change in your position is your displacement. Okay, and it's really, you could think of it also as just how far you are from where you started. Where did you start, and where did you end? Plus, you need to include the direction. It's not the total distance. If it was the total distance, then that would just be the distance. But there's a difference between distance and displacement. I'm going to show you that in some examples in just a moment. Now, don't forget displacement is a vector, which means you have to include the magnitude, the number, and the direction. So, for example, you could say your displacement is 5 meters to the west. Of course, you could use north, south, east, west. But oftentimes in physics and in math, we use negative and positive, so we could say that your displacement was 27 kilometers, or excuse me, minus 27 kilometers, which means your position changed by 27 kilometers in the negative direction. Now, when you calculate the displacement, there's actually an equation, a very simple equation, really. It's just the position final minus the position initial. Now, you got to remember, it's always final minus initial. If you do it the other way around, or you just take the difference between the two numbers, the two positions, then you'll get the wrong sign. And you gotta remember, you gotta have the correct direction. So it's always final minus initial. Here's a good example to point that out. Okay, now here we have uh, a boy, and he starts here at minus five at this position, and then he moves to 10, from minus five to plus 10. And we wanna know his distance, how far did he go? Well, he just went 15 centimeters, 50 centimeters, 15 meters. There's five, 10, 15. But what's his displacement? Displacement, don't forget, is final minus initial, position final minus position initial. And I like to mark on my diagram what's the final position and what's the initial position. And you can see if we plug those values into the equation, the final position is this one over here is 10 minus, because this is minus here, but then this is minus 5. So 10 minus minus 5 is, you guessed it, 15 and it's 15 to the right. We know it's to the right because this is a positive number. We could just put plus 15, but it's 15 meters to the right. Now you'll notice the magnitude of these two numbers is the same, but this one includes the direction, so that's why it's called the displacement. Okay, in this case, it may seem like they're the same, but they're not always the same. So for example, here we have our panda bear. He's starting right here at 10, position 10, and he's gonna move, I believe, over here to position minus 15, I'm measuring from his front foot. Okay, you can measure from any place but the front foot there. He starts at 10 and ends at minus 15. Well, what's the distance that he went? Well, we can just figure out that it's five, uh, this is 10, 20, and then that's 25. So the distance he went is 25 meters. Well, what's his change in position? 
okay? What's his displacement? Now we're gonna mark on there again, the initial and the final, and he ends at minus 15, and it's gonna be minus 10. Okay, so this is delta P, the change in position, and you'll notice the change in position is minus 25 meters. That helps us because now we know he went 25 meters, but in which direction did he go? Was it up, down, north, south, east, west, positive, negative? Well, you know he went in the negative direction. Okay, that's why displacement is a little, little clearer, clear, clear, clarifies things a little more because we know he went 25 meters in the minus direction, so it's minus 25. So these numbers are not really the same. There's a big difference between 25 and minus 25. <clears throat> okay, here's another example. We have this woman, and she walks starting at A, goes to B, and then goes to C. And of course, we want to know what's the distance that she went. So we can actually add up. She, you could say add up. We have two kind of legs here. She starts here. She has two legs also, but there's two legs here. You can see it's 10, 20. And then she turns around, walks in the other direction, another 10, 20, 35. So it's 20 plus 35. So she went a total distance. She covered 55 meters. Well, what about her displacement? Well, displacement is just the change in position. The point is we don't care what she did in between the final position and the initial position. I'm going to mark down, okay, there's a final position as, as that C, that's minus 25. The initial position is right there at minus 10. So I'm going to put down minus 25, minus, minus 10, and you can see your change in position is minus 15. She started here and she ended here. We don't care what she did in between, all right, and we see that her position changed by 15 meters in the minus direction, so her change in position is minus 15. So here you can see we get a different magnitude. This is 55 and this is minus 15. Those are obviously very different from each other. Okay, that's a good example for the difference between distance and displacement. Sometimes they seem like the same, and sometimes they have to be very obviously different here. Okay, so let's look at one last example here. This is kind of a little bit of a qualitative example. Okay, let's say we take the path that's shown by this solid blue arrow. And then we want to know basically what's the distance and what's the displacement. Okay, we have the green dashed arrow and we'll say the red or the purple dashed arrow, whatever that color is. We want to know which one is, represents the distance and which one represents the displacement. Well, the distance is the, how far you've gone and the displacement is your change in position. So the green one is the displacement. And the purple one is the distance, okay? So you can see they're very different from each other. Okay, now we can go back to the original question we had at the very beginning of the video. You can see we start at A, we go to B, we go to C, we go to D, and then back to A. We want to know what is our distance and what is our displacement. When we do that, we go around on that square like that. Okay, the distance is just how far we went. Well, we went 3, 6, 9, 12. So the distance is obviously 12 meters. But what is our displacement? Displacement, don't you don't forget, is your change in position. Well, how much did our position change from our initial place to our final place? We started here and went right back here. So that means in this case that our displacement is zero meters. We started and ended at the same place we were not displaced, so therefore our change in position is zero meters and the displacement is zero meters. Okay, so there you go. I uh, hope you found that video helpful. I went over a very nice explanation of what is the difference between distance and displacement, and then we went over some excellent examples. If you found that video helpful, please do all of the following four things. Subscribe to my channel, Step by Step Science. Get all my excellent physics, chemistry, and math videos. You should click on the notifications bell. You should please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment for this video. And don't forget sharing is caring. Share this video with all your friends. Show them just how much you care. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you in the next video.